Hi, my name is Haley Hoffman Smith, and I am the CEO and founder of Lit Without Limits Nonprofit. I first wanted to thank Patty for having me on for Women That Amaze. Patty, I love what you're doing. You are building a community and a network for women to share in what they're doing and connect in that way. So that's that's awesome, and I'm really glad that I'm being featured. So a little bit about me. I am 19 years old. I just finished my sophomore year at the University of Colorado Boulder, and I started my nonprofit, Lit Without Limits, last May when I was 18 years old. Lit Without Limits donates empowering literature to girls in mentoring groups with an accompanying curriculum that I write. So I choose the books based on the values that they exemplify, my favorite being encouraging educational pursuits, overcoming personal barriers, and also instilling in each girl who reads it um, a sense of their innate value. And then I go through the book, I write down the main themes and concepts and discussion questions so the girls can go through the book like in a book club format. Um, and it has been, it has been awesome. I think that... Um, Beyond just what I do through Lit Without Limits regarding literature and mentoring, I really like to be of service to other girls who might like to start their own nonprofit or their own business because I have noticed that obviously there's a huge discrepancy between men and women in the entrepreneurship field, especially considering that nonprofits are, see are seemingly a very abstract concept in, in contrast with businesses that are for profit that seem a lot more concrete. So I'm all about empowering women to follow what feels right within them because I don't really have a reason for why I started Lit Without Limits. Um, I just remember I was on a trip with my mom and I had had this nagging feeling in me for a while that I really wanted to do something to give back to not just my community but the world. Um, I've always had a heart of service. I've always worked with nonprofits and volunteered my time but I really felt like there was something more that I could do. And I was surrounded by people, my mom, namely, my parents, my friends, who really supported this inclination in me and told me to follow that gut feeling and think about it. And so I came up with something along the lines of books, and I also wanted to empower girls. And then next thing you know, it was spiraling into this idea that is now Lit Without Limits. And I was 18. I knew nothing about starting a business, let alone a nonprofit. But I was surrounded by people who supported me in that. And sometimes that's not always clear. It may seem like, mm, I don't know anybody who can help me start a business. I don't know anybody who knows anything about what I'm doing. But it's just a matter of reaching out to people and asking, um, connecting with other people in your community. Everybody knows somebody who knows the answer to what you're doing. Um, and I, I learned as I went along. I read up on books. I researched it. Um, again, asking questions, and I just followed what was within me that kept telling me that I should push forward and really try to follow this dream of mine. And so far, it has been great. So now we are just about at the one-year mark. Um, this is Lit Without Limits birth month in the month of May. Um, its birth date is more around mid-May, but Anyways, we have already fulfilled three donations, and the first book that we're donating is I Am Malala. And that book was really important to me to donate first because I think that first planted the seed for Lit Without Limits for me. I took a women in leadership class my freshman year at CU Boulder, and my teacher was talking about Malala Yousafzai, and she is an incredible, incredible girl. But in particular, um, she was so worried about her books at home in Pakistan um, when the Taliban was wreaking havoc on her community. And she runs into the house to make sure that they are okay because she saw them like they were gold. And when my teacher was talking about this, I just remember feeling overwhelmed with emotion because I have always loved books so much. I've always been an avid reader. I've always loved writing. And I think literature has the power to connect people in a way that a lot of other things lack. There is just a beauty in literature that I find every time I read a book or read a quote. And it is such a way to unite people. So I really wanted to do something along the lines of girl empowerment, girl education, girls in literature, and it all kind of came together just for Lit Without Limits. And I Am Lala has really been the perfect book. I'm really glad I chose that one first. Um, so we have donated three in total. So we first did a to a Girl Talk chapter in Georgia, and then we have an, a Lit Without Limits chapter at Colorado State University, and then we just donated to South Carolina to Modeling with a Message. And as of right now, we have over 300 girls on the wait list, which is incredible 
on one hand because I can't wait to fulfill it, but at the same time, very, very aggravating because that is the one dissonance when you start something new and you don't really know what you're doing, frankly. Um, we are learning as we go along. I am really blessed to have an incredible, incredible staff. I have my chief financial officer, Kelly Hart. I have my vice president, Morgan Weiss, and my director of development, Elaine Schultz. And then I have a board of incredible, incredible individuals who all have their own expertise or specialty in one area. And we're all a really great team, and I am open to whoever else wants to hop on board, whoever else wants to start a chapter. I also started an ambassador program for Lit Without Limits because going along with empowering girls, and especially in entrepreneurship, I really wanted to provide a way that girls who love reading and love making a difference in their community can go out and plug into their communities and be leaders through Lit Without Limits. So whether that be just spreading the word or hosting a fundraiser or starting a chapter, any of those ways are ways that they can become leaders, um, get a lot of background in networking and connection, nonprofit work, and I want to be a source of the answers about how to start a nonprofit, how to go about connecting with other people to all these other girls. So I'm embarking on this journey, and if you'd like to get involved, you can visit our website, www.litwithoutlimits.org. You can also follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, just search, search Lit Without Limits, and we'll pop up. Um, I am open to any collaborations you can possibly imagine. I've made a lot of things work just because I really think that this nonprofits, women empowerment, all of it has synergy with frankly anything. And when two people come together with hearts of service and really want to make something happen, um, usually things do happen of great magnitude. So you can reach out to me. That is Haley, H-A-L-E-Y, livewithoutlimits.org. I'm sure Patty will include that information for contact. But Thank you for taking the time to listen to me talk about Live Without Limits. And if you'd like to get involved, I'm all ears. Thank you. Thanks, Patty.